I have always wanted to learn more about growing grapes and to make wine. This spring, one of our friends named Ken invited me to come out and see how he handles and prunes his grapevines. And then I heard about Ron Lake Vineyards and Winery. Imagine my excitement when owner Scott and Jenny Ellenbecker invited our Prairie Yard and Garden crew to come and see their commercial operation. Thanks so much for letting us come and visit. Thanks, Mary. This is going to be fun. What are your backgrounds? So I was in the marketing industry for 30 years, and uh, we live in the country, so we, we just thought we would grow grapes, and there's a lot more to it than that. But I spent a lot of time traveling. At one point, I was gone 250 nights a year, and Jenny raised the family and took care of things. Now I never leave. It's, I, we have the food truck comes twice a week, and our restaurant makes us dinner every day. We don't have to worry about going anywhere. We started an interest in vines. My sister lives in California. So we would go out and visit her. And then we started going, oh, this would be great. Scott found out during his travels, he goes, hey, guess what? We can grow grapes in Minnesota. I'm like, yeah, he goes, do you want to plant some grapes? I'm like, sure, it'd be fun. It's just a big garden, a little big garden. It is a big thought. garden. <laughs> and so now we have 23 acres of grapes and a restaurant and full events. How did Round Lake Vineyards get started? In 2005, uh, I was working on a story. I was a writer and a photographer. I was working on a story in California on the use of water in vineyards, and obviously irrigation. But they also use it for climate control. So in the valleys in California, it can get over 100 degrees. So they turn the irrigation on and cool the vines. So I came back. And I went up to Cold Spring to do a story on a dimensional stone quarry. And in Kimball, there's, a, there's a, a vineyard there. And a lady was out working, so I asked her a bunch of questions. And, and then, where did she get the grapes? And she told me about Ray Winter, and he has a nursery. So I drove to Janesville, and they told me about George that has been growing grapes for a long time. So I talked to George, and by the time I got home, I said, Jenny, we should plant grapes. So the next year, in 2007, is when we first planted grapes. Jenny's grew up here on the property. We bought this property from her grandmother in 2002. It was originally the Round Lake Waterfowl Station. Her grandparents bought the property because they wanted to raise ducks and geese. And over 20 years, they grew this to be the largest collection of waterfowl in the world right here. There was 85 different species of birds. And then they, on the property, yet there was a, a, a big walk-in incubator. There is uh, the duck barn. We were living in Mitchell, South Dakota, and Grandma called and said, do you want to buy the house because nobody's living in it? We bought it and moved here in 2002. What makes this a good location for growing grapes? You can grow anything in Minnesota. <laughs> you can. Our weather is perfect. Uh, the ground here in southwest Minnesota is black, down three feet. A big issue we have is when we first plant a vineyard, it's so vigorous, it doesn't put on fruit. Because this fruit is a seed that the plant will put on so it reproduces. So if the plant is not stressed, it doesn't put on grapes. So we've learned that we have to really prune them back heavy in the winter, and then they'll, then they'll be shocked into saying, oh, I gotta put some seeds on. Do you have to worry about the grapevines over our winter when we get such nasty winters? They've been bred to withstand the cold. The university has developed them to withstand 35 to 60 below, it just depends. We have a couple breeders in Minnesota that are even breeding some grapes, so. What is the difference between a winery and a vineyard? So a, a winery makes the wine. The winery is really the function of, of taking the product that you grow in the vineyard, which is the, the fruit, and then we bring it in and we go through the process of making it. So when we started in uh, 2007, we were a vineyard. So it was Round Lake Vineyards. In 2015, we opened the winery. And then in 16, we, we bought a food trailer. And, and then in 2020, we opened a full-scale restaurant. So we are really kind of a destination, not just the winery, not just the vineyards. And so there's a lot going on here. It's a different kind of, a, of experience because people will come here and sit for four hours. 
You don't sit for four hours at a normal restaurant. You don't sit for four hours in a bar, generally. But people come and sit and visit with friends and it's casual. They're not just drinking the whole time. They're eating and socializing. Uh, this is a, this is the kind of place where people come as a group.